strike in Brazil paralyzed the economy and made a bad political situation worse. The drivers are facing low rates, high fuel prices, and trucks that ride half full. Now, that's a problem Cargo X is trying to solve. Its app matches drivers who have free space in their trucks with cargo that needs to be moved. It's like an Uber for cargo and freight. Now, the CEO joined me in the C-suite. I asked him to prove it's not just hype. Looking back, like, over the last two years, it's like we, we went from zero to almost $200 uh, million dollars in revenue in just under two years. We got uh, more than 5,000 trucks sign up in the platform that are actually moving freight with us. So, you know, I, I think, you know, we, we are seeing that we have a very traditional industry in Brazil that exists for hundreds of years, which is trucking, you know. Uh, and then we have technologies that also exist. What we are doing are pulling these technologies that existed for a long time, or they are like, you know, brand new technologies, and we are pulling those technologies into a very traditional industry and adding efficiencies. So it's not a hype when, when you see that the client that was using several different transportation providers before are able to save money because they use only one transportation provider, which is an electronic transportation sure. provider on the one hand. And on the other hand, it's not a hype when you see that the trucker that was running empty 40% of the time is actually making more money. Yeah, and, and better for the environment too, in terms of those trucks aren't going. You cut, a, you cut down on CO2 emissions. You enable the truckers to make more money, which means they can buy a new truck. And, and you also reduce an accident because the trucker that is running 40% of the time empty, like they are in Brazil, and we are talking of the third largest trucking market in the world. There is, you know, the railroad, railroad in Brazil is very limited. So, you know, you decrease the accidents because the truckers are running with brand new trucks and or they make more money and they don't have to go that, that fast on, on, on the road. So you have less amount of accidents. So let's talk about scaling up. Where do you want to see this? Which other countries are you thinking over other continents? So we've been in business for under two years. We are, gonna, we are on the top five. We are probably one of the top five largest transportation companies in Brazil today. And we should be, you know, we should be expanding quickly. Next year, we plan to be the largest transportation provider in Brazil. And then we are going to expand across Latin America. And maybe, you know, I, I, I think we can expand internationally very quickly. We just saw those stunning pictures from the blockades of all the truckers in Brazil. Yeah. It's an ongoing issue there. How do you deal with that? And what, how do you think is best to deal with that, considering it doesn't, it looks to, that it's going to get worse before it gets better? Yeah, it's going to get worse before it gets better. What's happening in Brazil is that you have a lot of owner operators that are people that own their own truck. They organize on social media. And what they are asking for is what everyone is asking for in a crisis environment. My salary is low or there are no jobs. What the truckers are saying is that you are getting paid a very little amount of money for every load or there are not enough loads for all of us because the amount of freight was here and the capacity was here in 2012. Then in the crisis, the amount of load in the economy went down, but the amount of trucks didn't went down. So, you know, they are sharing a lower amount of, of freight. The problem and what worries me, and, and I think everyone should get worried in the world, not only in Brazil, is that um, social media and technology is giving the power to the population to organize and do a strike. But you need a common vision, vision and leadership when you do a strike, because what you are asking for has to be very clear. Because if the government gives you what you are asking for, Which they did. then you need to back up. And it didn't seem to work. Because it's very decentralized. And when there is a centralization, it's where, you know, it's dangerous, but marketplaces work really well when there is decentralization and, and fragmentation.